Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel Go Dynamic IT. Today I will guide you through setting up BitLocker encryption on Windows 11. The steps are similar to Windows 10, so no worries about it. I assume that you probably know about the encryption, so we'll skip the theoretical background and jump straight into the practical step. So let's get started and enhance your security together. Okay, so this is, you can see, this is my Windows 11 PC and this is Windows Pro and this is a featured experience pack. This is not activated one. So once you have the activated, I'll tell you the difference. So once you have the activated one and when you go back to privacy and security, you will get an option here for the device security. There would be an option called device security here. But since it's not activated, it is not showing to me. So now what we will do is we'll, if we have to activate the encryption, we'll go straight forward to our this PC. And in this PC, we can activate it on our C drive or if we have an external drive. So let me, let me connect my external drive here. Okay. So you can see here, this is my external pen drive and nothing here. If you want to activate it, I, we can activate this encryption on this also. So as of now, let's go ahead and uh, enable the bit locker on C drive. So what we have to do is you have to right click on it and you can click on the bit locker. So similar thing you can do in the e -drive, external drive also. Just right click on it, show more and you can see turn on bit locker. So if you connect this drive, if you have a bit locker enable on your pen drive or any external drive. And when you connect this drive to any of the PC, it will ask you for the password. Until unless you give the password, this drive is not going to open on any system. Right. So let's what we will do is in our case, our all the data you can see, I have some data on my desktop, on my my documents and downloads. I am scared about my data, right? Because should not be hacked or should not be changed or modified by the malware programs programs or ransomware. So what we'll do is right click on it and click on the turn on bit locker. Okay. And it says that checking your PC configurations. Wait for that. Okay. It says that, okay, it checked the configuration. Now it's asking about the save the file. So, you know, it's always better to save the file on the Microsoft account so that it can be recovered from anywhere, any PC, right? So let's save this in the Microsoft account. And this is trying to save it on our Microsoft account. Click on the next. And it says that increase to use the disk space for faster yes go ahead and do that it said the new encryption mode or compatible mode no just go with the new mode and uh, run bit locker system check okay continue and that's it finish now bit locker is going to work so it's asking about to restart the pc okay right click on it shut down and restart so as i can see here this is restarting our pc okay as you can see here after the system restart it says that encryption is started let, so let me see what is the difference which we can see now the system becomes slow i know just because of the encryption but that's fine so let's open our drive and uh, okay let's go to this pc and uh, did you notice one thing here earlier this lock option was not there but now we can see this lock so it will be lock and unlock based on our password. The moment we enter enter into our system with the password, this will unlock the drive. But there is a there is a other side of the coin also. So suppose that if you uh, your system got crashed for some reason, maybe because of the wrong driver or just recently, did you correlate this with your crowd strike uh, issues? Right, the, all the system has a blue screen. Why? Because that was that the cloud strike driver was conflicting with one of the system uh, files. So that's why this was showing in the blue screen. So that particular time, if it asks for the bit locker key, right? So how do we recover the bit locker key? Okay. So there is a way to you can recover this. Bit bit locker key what you have to do is you have to go log into the microsoft account where we have saved this one microsoft account right so we'll go to the microsoft account and then recover the key. so let me bring that uh, account go to our browser log into this link accounts.microsoft.com device slash recovery now it's asking about the login oh we can do this with the microsoft edge so let's log in with this microsoft edge existing account says that login. okay so let us log in with our account our microsoft Soft account where we have saved this the key and uh, get this account and login sign okay it says that they will send us this authentication on my mobile phone no problem i'll just wait for that see that key code okay i have received the code here enter the code one four five nine two verify okay so you can see here i have logged into the microsoft account and this is the recovery so i can use this recovery key when it asks for when you see this window like this so you log in with your key this key you can see on once you log into your account in this account it will show you your device name and this is the key it will show you and once you see this screen on the startup just enter the your 
open and this is going to work right so that's it for quick videos today if you have any questions query or any feedback related to this video please do let me know in the comment box thank you very much for watching the video see you in the next one